Section 17, question 1. The sequence is defined by the reconciliation. un plus 1 is equal to 1 quarter un plus 16. u0 is equal to 0. Find the values of u1, u2 and u3. Well, subsequent to u0 must be u1, so we can find u1. u1 will be 1 quarter of u0, which is 0 plus 16, and that's 16. Just continue that on for u2. u2 will be 1 quarter of u0 plus 16. 16. So that's 1 quarter of 16 plus 16. Quarter 16 is 4. 4 plus 16 is 20. And then for u3, just repeat the process and it will be u3 equals 1 quarter of 20 plus 16. Quarter 20 is 5. 5 plus 16 is 21. Part B, give a reason why this sequence has a limit. Well, it has a limit because the value for a in front of un is between minus 1 and 1. So, that's that. Part C, part B, part 2, rather, find the exact value of k. By looking at the diagram, we can interpret k as being the limit. So, it's tending to that limit. So, for that, if un is the limit, then un plus 1 is the limit, so we've got the limit equals 1 quarter of the limit plus 16. Bring that over, and we've got the limit minus 1 quarter of the limit is equal to 16. So that's 3 quarters of the limit is equal to 16. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4, and 3 lots of the limit is equal to 64. And then divide by 3, and the limit is equal to 64 over 3. That's the final answer. Section 17, question 2. A sequence is defined by the reconciliation un plus 1 equals 0 0.8 un plus 12. u0 is equal to 4. State why the sequence has a limit. That's easy. That's just because 0 0.8 lies between minus 1 and 1. Part B, find the limit. So when the limit occurs, the next term is the limit. So the limit equals 0 0.8 lots of the limit, plus 12. That's L minus 0 0.8L equals 12. That's 0 0.2L equals 12. L is equal to 12 divided by 0 0.2. Non-calculate equation, I can multiply top and bottom by 5, and that will give me 60 over 1, which is 60, and that's the limit. Section 17, question 3. A thumb cleans the factory floor on a daily basis with disinfectant. There's a choice of two products, either A or B. Product A removes 70% of all germs. During the next, but during the next 24 hours, 300 new germs are estimated to appear. So added on. Product B removes 80% and 350 are added on. For product A, which is the first one, um, let you in represent the number of germs on the floor immediately after disinfecting for the nth time, number of grams per square unit. And then for product B, uh, same goes, write down a consolation for each. So for the first one, product A, un plus 1 equals, so it loses 70% or removes 70%, so it retains 30%, and we would add on, since it's 300 new are estimated to appear, 300 is product A. Product B removes 80%, which means 20% are still there, and 350 appears, so that's my two of the consolations. Part B, determine which product is more effective in the long term. Well, that's really just asking me to investigate the limit. So I'm going to look at the limit for the first one. So remember, when we've reached the limit, the next term is the limit, so that's going to be L equals 0 0.3L plus 300. Bring that over and that's going to be 0 0.7L equals 300. L is equal to 300 divided by 0 0.7. That will give me 428.6. Product B is given by that reconciliation. So again, that will be 
L equals 0 0.2, L plus 350. So bring that across and that will be 0 0.8L equals 350. L equals 350 divided by 0 0.8. And that will give me 437.5. The context of the question is how many germs per square unit are still remaining. In the long term, so in the long term for product A it's 428.6, for product B it's 437.5. So in the context of the question, the more effective product is product A. So we would just say product A more effective since less gems are there in the long term. In a given area. And make a numerical compar comparison since 428.6 is less than 437.5.